so let's let's add a third loop onto it and I added a third battery as well I didn't have to add a third battery to add another loop I could have just added a, another loop without necessarily adding a third battery but I I added a third battery too Let's do it this time first with the Maxwell and then do the Kirchhoff and then again you see the difference. Okay? So with the Maxwell, well, well, we've already done, the left one won't change. The left one will stay, what was it? I just erased it. Uh, um, It was 15 is equal to 22i1 minus 12i2. Uh, was that the left one? So that one won't change because I didn't do anything to the left. The middle one will be negative uh, 12i2, negative 6 again. Negative 8i2, and then negative 9i2, not, do you see what's happening? In other words, everything, when you're doing the middle loop, everything that has the i2 is all negative. You're going like this, you're going with it. Negative 12 I2, negative 6, negative 8 I2, negative 9 I2. Then you have to remember that you're going against the I1, right? You're going against the I1, and you're also going against the I3, right? So you're going against whichever current is not part of your primary loop. You're going against I1 and I3. So uh, you're doing plus... 12i1 plus 9i3 is equal to 0. So whichever current is not part of your primary loop that you're doing is positive. Okay, so I have 12i1, negative 12, negative 8 is negative 20, and uh, uh, negative 9, negative 29i2. And then plus 9i3 is equal to 6. So here's my second equation. So first equation didn't change. Second equation changed. And uh, the right loop is going to be, again, everything with the, that every current in the th right loop will be negative. Negative 9i3, negative 15i3, and the battery is going to be plus 8. And then that's it. But you have to remember you're going against i2. And then this one is going to be uh, 8 is equal to... Uh, 0 I1, I1 is not even involved, uh, negative 9 I2 goes to the other side, and then this one goes to the other side, 15 I3 and 9 I3, 24 I3. Then I put it into my simultaneous solver. Twenty two, negative twelve, zero, fifteen, twelve, negative twenty nine, nine, six, zero, negative nine, twenty four, eight. 
I1 is 0.8299, I2 is equal to 0.2716, I3 is equal to 0.4352. And again, if you wanted to find the power, then you would do the go through the same procedure. Now, if you, if you want to know the current through the middle ones, you got to do, uh, like this one will be I1 minus I2, right? This one will be I1 minus I2, and then this one will be what? I2, right? I mean, sorry, I2 minus I3. So I1 minus I2 is going to give me positive still. This one will be positive. I2 minus I3 is going to do what? Oh, that's going to be negative. This one is going to come out to be negative. So what does that mean? If it's negative, it's flowing. The I3 wins. So the current in here is flowing up. The I3 is winning, you see? The current in here is flowing down. Okay? So now let me show you the other method. And then you'll get to choose uh, based on which one you like. Um, we should get the same answer again if you do it right. Now, the reason Kirchhoff's rules, the other method is a little bit more, how should I say? You have a little bit more say in how you set up the circuit. What was the uh, nine, right? Nine ohms. Let's, so if I do Kirchhoff's loops, now here's, here's why it's different with this room. You can actually set up the currents just like as you like. For example, you can say, let this one be I1. And remember how I was doing I2 and then I was doing I1 minus I2 down? You don't have to do that way. You don't have to do I2 this way and I1 minus I2 this way. You could say the I1 comes here and splits into I1 minus I2. And then the I2 is down. You see what I mean? So you have more say in how you set up the circuit. I'm gonna, I1 is going to come there, split into two sections. I1 minus I2 and I2. And then the I1 minus I2 is going to come over here and split into... And then you can make this I3... And then this one will be I1 minus I2 minus I3. Or you can make this one I3. It's up to you how you want to do it. Uh, so here, let's say you, you want, you're going to have I1 minus I2 minus I3. Then here down, you can have I3. And then I1 minus I2, I3 comes around, and then they join together here. So if you had a resistor down here, you would have, uh, they would join up, and it would be I1 minus I2. And then I1 minus I2 would join with I2, and then you would have I1. So it's totally up to you how you want to break the current in, in, in the loop when you're doing the Kirchhoff's method. And then it's completely up to you which three loops you want to choose. You want to choose the left loop? Is that easier? You want to choose the middle loop? Is that easier? You want to choose uh, the right loop? Do you want to choose the whole circuit or do you want to do the left two or do you want